Welcome to the NHL's No Playoff Cemetery with your host, Stephen Harrell from the Ginger Snaps here. Good evening, everyone. We are joined here together at the No Playoff Cemetery to mourn the loss of these 16 teams who did not qualify for the 2021 2022 Stanley Cup playoffs. These 16 teams had very big ambitions to win this beautiful trophy, but were hit in the face with reality that they were just not going to cut it. They were not going to make it. And that's life. So for the fan bases and for the teams and players, we will mourn your loss and remember you leading up to the lifting of the cup by the end of the playoffs. I will go by alphabetical order of all the teams we shall remember. Starting with the Anaheim Ducks, I did say you guys were not going to make the playoffs, and you guys didn't. But hey, Troy Terry's looking pretty damn good right now, hey? And also the Michigan man himself, Trevor Zegras, with his highlight plays. Man, he's a star. But as one star shines bright, another one fades, as Ryan Getzlaff has now officially retired. And... The whole entire cup winning team from 2007 is now gone. It is now very much apparent that your Stanley Cup championship from 2007 is nothing but the fucking past. To the Arizona Coyotes, for the fans who, you know, pretty much teased me about, you know, mispronouncing Jal River Sports, it doesn't really fucking matter. You guys aren't even playing in there anymore. I said you guys were not going to make the playoffs. I even said you guys are not even going to win the Stanley Cup. And look, it got worse. Enjoy playing in front of your, uh, let's see, uh, 1,500 fans in your new 5,000-seater arena. While you guys wait for uh, an arena proposal to not fall through. For the Buffalo Sabres. At least it wasn't as bad as last year. Moving on to the Chicago Blackhawks. I guess staying quiet for 10 fucking years Felt like 10 seconds, didn't it? Mm. Enjoy your tainted bullshit dynasty now. No one wanted you in the playoffs, and now no one likes you. That's why Marc Andre Fleury wanted to get the fuck out. To the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yes, we get it. 2019, you guys swept the Tampa Bay Lightning. Yes, that has led to two straight Stanley Cups. You guys have made no relevance whatsoever. Your team was abysmal at best. Now let's just hope, or as for your fans and the team, should now hope that the Lightning don't win a third straight because now they will no longer be public enemy number one. It will be the Columbus Blue Jackets fan base and team because you guys decided to sweep them. You awoke the beast. You will be one of the most hated teams. But I mean, Chicago, <laughs> they take the, the cup in that direction. But the Detroit Red Wings. Any day now, guys, I really appreciate if you guys just make the playoffs. You guys were so good this year. Not as great, but good. There's so much potential now. I do hope Stevie Y gets some good pieces for you guys as well. And I really hope to God you guys get the playoff picture next season. 
for the Montreal Canadiens. Um, from a Tampa Bay Lightning fan who watched my team beat you guys in Game 5 to now you guys clinching last place. I don't think anyone saw this coming. Let's be fair. We all did not see this coming. Let's just hope you guys turn out better next season. What a fall from grace. For the New Jersey Devils, man, your team was so uninspiring. Boring, bland. No wonder the fans are embarrassed to say they're Devils fans now as they rock their Marty Brodeur jerseys and talk about 2003. For the New York Islanders, I gained a lot of respect for this team in the last two Final Fours, Conference Finals, whatever. To see them not qualify kind of hurts a little bit. It kind of does. I just had this feeling these guys were so damn competitive that maybe they're the team that could end Tampa's reign. I mean, they took us to the distance in Game 7 last season. But of course, it wasn't this year for you guys. I really hope that the Islanders fans and the Islanders team itself can move past this season and strive for bigger and better pastures next season. Keep your heads up, guys. For the Ottawa Senators, at least Eugene Melnick's gone. Oh, 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 don't even pretend you liked him. For the Philadelphia Flyers. I'm starting to think 2020 was a complete fluke now. You guys, I like New Jersey, was uninspiring this season. Like, fucking uninspiring. And you guys got rid of Claude Giroux. Yay, I guess? I don't fucking know. For the San Jose Sharks. 2016 is looking pretty far away now, isn't it? Hey, at least you helped eliminate a certain team from playoff contention. I'm proud of you guys for that. Hoping for you guys to make the playoffs next year, and most likely, you know, get reverse swept again. For the Seattle Kraken, well, it's your first year at least, at least you guys can say that, right? But also you proved a very good uh, point now that yes, Vegas' inaugural Stanley Cup final run was nothing but a fluke. I hope the Kraken do make the playoffs next season and are a better, better, better team. They deserve it. Next season, release that Kraken. For the Vancouver Canucks, oh my god, the potential you guys have on this fucking roster. And you guys didn't make the playoffs. To be fair, you guys had a lot of opportunities, but you kind of squandered it. For the fans, like again, don't riot, but I mean, like, keep your heads up. I mean, at least you guys still have Elias Pedersen. Brock Besser, Bo Horvat, Thatcher Demko. Still a good hockey name. For the Vegas Golden Knights, congratulations. You have finally not made the playoffs. Welcome to the National Hockey League. Well, well it's a packed barn here for Vegas fans. Ah, oh, you guys are probably wondering what I'm going to say. Um, we, who represent teams that made the playoffs, aren't going to miss you at all. Enjoy golf season for the very first time in your fucking franchise's history. Ugh, I'm not gonna fucking miss this team at all. Fuck off, Knights. And for the Winnipeg Jets. 
pretty sad that you guys didn't make the playoffs this year. I mean, you probably would want to, you know, get redemption after getting swept last season. But you guys still have a good core. You guys still have a good goaltender. Still one of the elites. And I hope you all, for the fans and the team, strive for better things next season. Shifley, don't cheap shot somebody, okay? I'd like to thank you all for coming here to the No Playoff Cemetery to mourn the losses of these 16 teams. I hope you guys rest well for your fan bases and your team. Oh, hopefully some adjustments can happen. Chicago, piss off. As for everybody else, enjoy the playoffs. A Stanley Cup champion will be crowned this year. But who's it going to be? Let's hope for a three-peat, shall we? Anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you all for coming. This has been Steven from the Ginger Snaps here. And I will see you guys for the 2021 2022 Stanley Cup playoffs. Enjoy. And thank you.